this CISSP focuses on all those aspects along those three trends, right? And again, from there, again, it's a, it's a balancing act for those three uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, but those three tenants has almost like 10 modules, right? So those three tenants have 10 modules where you have access controls, right? Where you have uh, physical security, where you have uh, incident security, and also there's one tenant where they talk about <coughs> more about, you know, what exactly is required. If let's say both I and a CISSP, then okay, what exactly are what exactly are the uh, sort of format that I need to be looking into? What exactly rules I should be following? What exactly I shouldn't be doing? Right? If I if I am working on some client's file, what are the no no for me? What exactly is acceptable in the in, in the industry? Right? And if I violate those laws, or if I sort of you know do what uh, something that's not there in in their documentation, it's more like a their commandments. Okay, these are the rules. Those shall do this. Those shall do that. And if I don't do it, then definitely they can revoke the certification just because, you know, uh, having certification doesn't mean that, you know, you have to, you're going to have to follow or abide by, or it's all about adherence, right? You wanna, you're going to have to follow the rules and standards that CSSP set forth, right? So moving right along, again, this is, these are 10 tenants that I've mentioned uh, under that uh, CSSP, and those 10 are more like a, they call it domain. And in those 10 domains, and, you know, they talk about access control, application security, and going back to your question where you yeah. mentioned about the tech, you know, yeah, technical, more, yes? Yeah, this is your more yeah. important. It's good. Yeah, what exactly you need to know if, if you want to go towards this direction. So again, the four, I mean, uh, my favorite is the, um, you know, cryptography. It's more interesting where how exactly you, uh, you decipher the information and how exactly one end get one information and then you decipher it and the other and get some other information. And again, if there's a breach happen, then how exactly A uh, would know that there's a breach happen, and then the information that B receive is not reliable. So again, that's more of a cryptography. And again, you have more, again, um, the ninth uh, here, if I, if I were to explain that on the architecture design phase, where, where they talk more about how exactly you build your enterprise within a data center or within the whole environment. If let's suppose you, how exactly a security program management work? How exactly a security program development work? Because when you decided to have a security in your organization, first you want to make sure that you have the individuals who are capable to put the system to work, right? So those those individuals definitely need to know about what exactly is the crypto, what exactly is the security architecture, right? And that, that knowledge is going to help you understand where exactly you want to lead forward in your career too. Let's talk about career. I mean, let's say you want to make sure that you want to move into technicalities, right? So you'll be more, once you have done that, you'll be more focusing on crypto or maybe uh, architecture design. And if I go take a few slides back, where we talked about um, uh, here, I mean, security engineering, that's from CS, from uh, IS, ISC Square as well, where you focus more on engineering, right? But again, once you have the knowledge of the CSSP, then you can decide better. But sometimes I've seen people, they, they want to be generalized. They, you know what, I don't want to be more specific to architect. I don't want to be more specific to physical security. I want to be a generalized CSSP where, you know, if, if I, can, I can deal a bit about architect, I can deal a bit about physical security, more like, you know, more like a person who knows pretty much all the areas, right? And that way, but people, some people, they want to more specialize towards, I mean, if I talk about Microsoft, there's some people, they want to more specialize towards service, right? Some people more spe specialize towards storage area, right? Like SAN and NAS. Some, yeah. some want to more, you know, specialize in terms of, uh, they want to know more in terms of the, the authentication piece, right? Where you have uh, the SSL uh, certificates going back and forth. So it depends where you want to go, but again, it's, the, these are the 10 domains for CSSP. So, but your course will cover all these 10 domains? Correct. Good, right. So that's that's the CISSP. Any question on CISSP? So after CISSP, I can get into architecture. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, moving right along, you know, right now uh, on CISA, I mean, you know, uh, we have anybody else in the class uh, has done CISA besides yourself? Yeah. So we have one student in the class. Okay, and again, for CISA, I mean, 
I know we are in 2011, but I want to make sure that uh, the figure I give is accurate. Right? I mean, I could have done 2011 there, but I want to make sure that you're getting the right information, right? So, and it, it's not much change. Uh, 79,000, and if you talk about other Microsoft certifications, maybe 79,000 you might have in one state. Here's 79,000 in the world, so it's a big difference. There's no isolation, there's, there's no saturation there, right? So that, that's, a, that's a biggie for CIC or for, even for CISSB as well. I think CISSB has, uh, uh, I don't remember, 67. Six, so there you go. So I mean, that shows you that, okay, if you wanna go into the field, you wanna, you wanna make your decision and then you're gonna work towards that, right? And uh, so, Again, for this one, I've, I've tried to take not too much time because again, we will have a question session as well uh, where we talked about, okay, what's best for you, what's the market exactly is out there, and what exactly are the requirements for you to be part of it, right? Again, for this one, CISA, you have, uh, I mean, they have revised that before they had six, now they moved to five, 2011, I mean, you must have done six. 2005, right, so you must have brought five, Domains, or you don't remember? Because I don't Asian history right now, right? Okay, that's fine. So here we have, I mean, I think uh, I wrote it for five as well, for six rather, but they changed it for five, which means what they have done is like, you know, on the fourth one, they have made operation and maintenance in one piece. Before they had a separate of like, you know, a service delivery piece where they have a different domain for it. Again, for CISA, as I mentioned, this is 